first shots with a BRN 180. All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the BRN 180 Gen 2 upper receiver that I got from Brownells and Odie Green. So huge shout out to Brownells. Brownells did send this out to the channel for review. Uh, first, let's kind of go over a couple things. This is just channel-wise. We're going to talk about it. Please like and subscribe. Head on over to my Patreon channel and like and subscribe over there. You don't actually have to do any of the tiers, um, but you can just go over there and support my Patreon content. Uh, content. Um, this video will be available on YouTube and on Utreon. If you are a viewer on Utreon, uh, you will be able to see all my content a week early. So there you go. Uh, the BRN 180 is honestly pretty awesome. I absolutely loved shooting this. The first 200 rounds out of this gun was fantastic. Um, I am actually blown away <laughs> at how well uh, this shot. I am actually surprised at how well this shot and how light it is. Um, it's not as bad. Um, I owned a PWS uh, 116 Pro. That thing felt like it was about as heavy as the moon. Uh, I <laughs> I was not uh, very happy with that. Um, this, honestly, a lot better. Now, if you're wondering why I was mentioning PWS, PWS makes a long stroke gas piston system, 16 inch upper. Um, it is a lot heavier than this guy. Uh, it's got a lot more metal. Uh, it's I, I'm pretty sure the PWS upper is made by the moon. Uh, like it literally has the whole weight of the moon in it. This just has none of that. Um, if you have a 116 or a 114 uh, and you go to this, this does feel lighter. Um, you know, it is what it is. But PWS, along with Foxtrot Mike, so, uh, make this for Brownells. Brownells is the proprietor of the BRN-180. I am pretty sure they hold the patent on it. Um, I don't know. Someone will come in here and tell me I'm wrong. I <laughs> Please do. Uh, what I am going to sit here and tell you is this is one heck of a gun. Uh, for being a 16-inch gun, it's not super unwieldy. <laughs> it doesn't have like a ton of swing weight when you get out there. Now, I don't have any accoutrements on the end. Um, no flashlight, none of that. This is probably not going to be a home defense gun, even though I do have a cloud rain that I probably would slap on this if I did want another home defense gun. Um, this is easily suppressible. It does have a two position system for suppressed and unsuppressed. It does not turn off. You cannot turn it off. The, uh, I think the PWS has a three position system. That one has suppressed, uh, uh, unsuppressed, mild, and then super suppressed and then all the other stuff. It really only ever ran it in setting two. It ran pretty well all the time there. It comes with a duckbill style three prong, three prong, three prong flash hider. Uh, I'm pretty sure it works really well. I didn't see a whole ton of flash. Uh, when I was shooting, then again, this is Texas. It is very bright out. We haven't had rain in a few weeks, uh, but it is starting to cool down. So that was nice. The range didn't actually, uh, you didn't want to melt when you were out there on the range. <laughs> Uh, I am running this with just a standard hollow sun, just some hollow sun that I've had for a very long time. Running it with the Reptilia 193. I did not get the sport version. Now the sport version actually has a different like charging handle style thing. And then this one has a dust cover, whereas the sport version does not have a dust cover. If you uh, actually want to use this for any sort of use, uh, I highly recommend you get this one, not the sport version. I don't like the sport version. But also a huge shout out to my friend Adam because I believe he's the one that made the OD Green <laughs> uh, BRN-180 uh, a thing. Um, he actually was very curious to uh, hear what I thought about this gun. I really like this gun. I think this is a fantastic shooting little uh, pew here. So Again, as you can tell from the beginning, um, the first rounds through this were steel case. I know some people are gonna be very upset at that, but it actually ran 200 rounds really well. I threw in some brass, I ran some M193, I ran some Monarch brass, and then I ran some other brass. I can't remember what I had. I think it was just what, oh, uh, it's Frontier 223-55 grain. Um, ran all of it perfectly fine. The 223-55 grain wasn't bad. The M193, a little punchy, but still, <laughs> you can shoot this gun pretty quickly. Uh, I did a lot of running drills, moving around with it, had a lot of fun. I do need to get a sling point for this so I can run it with a sling and do all the other fun stuff that needs to be done with this guy. But yeah, honestly, I was very surprised at how well this shot. Um, I am going to get it out and do some accuracy testing with it. I'll take it out to 50 yards or get it under a scope, see what happens. Uh, I will run it with my 4-16 to power uh, scope that I have and we'll see exactly how well the, the, uh, the groups print. But yeah, this seems like a very 
top of the line piston gun. <laughs> uh, we'll need to get some backups at some point. I will definitely get a BRN 180 lower um, from Brownells. Now those are made by 17 Designs. I will get the forged one specifically because 17 Designs and I do not get along with their billet lowers. I'm left-handed. They obviously do not care about people being left-handed. Um, and if you're asking me that, I know you're gonna put a comment down below. Um, <laughs> They have a really like a large amount of fencing around their magazine release uh, on the left side of the lower receiver, and that that does not help with having a how would I put this um, having a left side uh, magazine release. So there you go. I know that some people are probably going to be mad, um, but I don't necessarily like the 17 Designs lowers for that specific reason, but I do like their forge lowers. They make a great forge lower. I think they actually dialed in their anodizing because a long time ago, they really sucked at that. So yeah, this is the BRN-180. This is just a first look. As I said, this is not a full review. I will definitely be going more in depth with a full review in the future. Uh, definitely slap a light on here, get some other stuff going. I don't know if I'll do a foregrip. I really like, this is a very slick, just it, it works really well. Um, as you guys can see here, the I did nick that right there, so that's me. But the Cerakoting, this does come factory Cerakote, which I do believe that's done also by PWS. The Cerakote is actually very nice. It, it honestly works really well. It's very smooth. It does not have any of that rough texturing like the Alumahide does. If, you, if you've ever messed with Alumahide, once you bake it, it has like a rough texture. The Cerakote is extremely smooth. I don't believe it's high temp Cerakote either, but it does work really well. I really like it. So again, thank you to Brownells for sending this out. Honestly, guys, I don't know what else I can tell you other than it shoots really well. I had a lot of fun. You can see the drills in the background. We did a lot of fun stuff with this gun. It was not bad whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, short stroke gas piston system, definitely very good. I will have a more detailed breakdown of this at some point, especially if you guys are asking for it. If you guys ask for a more detailed breakdown of the BRN 180, I can definitely do that over on my YouTube or my Utreon channel. I can't do that on YouTube because they don't like any of that fun stuff. So. Uh, yeah, go hit up the comments down below. Go to my link tree. You can find all my links there for everything. But yeah, that will be in the comments. Thank you guys so much for everything. And as always...